In 2015, the 500th anniversary of St. Teresa of Avila's birth was celebrated. That same year, Father Jacques Murad was abducted for 84 days by the Islamic State in Raqqa, the capital of the self-proclaimed caliphate. During his captivity, the Syrian priest found consolation in the words of the Spanish saint. One night during the abduction, I was trying to sleep. I was angry, desperate. I woke up singing, nothing troubles you, nothing scares you, in Arabic. So spontaneously, I do not know how. I did not understand anything at the time, but then I experienced a comfort and a peace inside me that made me forget I was in that prison. Each day during his captivity, he thought it would be the last of his life. He was held in inhumane conditions along with 250 Christians from his parish of Karatin in Syria. However, he says that despite fear, he experienced God at his side more than ever. That was the miracle, that in the hardest and darkest moments, those with noise, as St. Teresa says, God is still present. I remember that from the first moment the jihadists entered the monastery and kidnapped me. When they put me in the car and took me to the desert, I clearly felt the presence of the Virgin Mary at my side. Despite what he experienced, he says there are signs of hope on the horizon. His monastery at Mar Elian was an open house until jihadists blew it up to eliminate any signs of Christianity. However, the most valuable object managed to survive the bombs. I discovered from a photograph that the relics the monastery guarded are intact. It was a huge surprise. Knowing that the relics have not disappeared has given me much courage and hope that one day I will be able to return, God willing. Everyone together back to my parish that has lost everything and whose houses have been destroyed. To rebuild our village, the monastery, and be a source of protection, comfort, courage, and a witness of faith, coexistence and collaboration between Muslims and Christians in the region. Father Murad has not been able to return to Syria. He lives in Iraqi Kurdistan waiting to rebuild what acts of hatred took from him. Evil will never win. Evil will end someday. The war is going to end and will end. We always live with that hope. In order to accomplish this, there must be action. The priest asked Christians from the Western world not to turn a blind eye to the suffering of Syrians or close their doors to those who are fleeing from bombs. He calls for rulers to be honest, more humane and compassionate in order to stop this war that for six years has been targeting Christianity.